Hello and welcome to another presentation by Property Profits Training Group, where we provide real estate investors lots of portfolio building strategies and money making solutions that work in the real world. My name is Gord Lemon and I have been investing in Canadian real estate and more recently in the US for over 25 years. I'm also a trainer, author, mortgage broker and manager of a mortgage investment corporation, which is kind of like a private bank. Now we are continuing in our two-part series of real estate realities and we'll just jump right in here. The next part of your reality is actually finding the deals. So how are you going to do that? Once you've picked your niche, how do you find the deals? Well, you might want to use a bird dog. Now bird dog can, is, um, means basically someone who is scouting out the deals, pointing to that deal and saying this is a deal. It could be your realtor or it could be people that you know in your own neighborhood that actually can find a deal for, for you. You can also be looking on Gigi and Craigslist uh, to find a deal and those deals will in most cases be for sale by owners or called FISBOs in the business. Um, so we want to be talking to the owner primarily because we can speak to his need and perhaps create a win-win deal uh, out of that. And of course foreclosures or what we prefer is pre-foreclosures and we've got a video on that understanding the foreclosure process in your province and figuring out how we can deal with somebody that's in that foreclosure process. Next, exit strategies. So you pick your niche, one of 25 to 30 niches and figure out now that you're, you've got the niche, you've got the property, what are you going to do with it? So what is your plan A? How are you going to make money? How are you going to prove this property to make money on it? And if that doesn't happen to work for whatever reason, what is your plan B? What is your plan C? And you need to go into a deal with that in mind or you might be, you know, heaven forbid, losing money um, on a deal. And if you do real estate correctly, there's absolutely no reason that you would ever lose money on a deal if you're doing it correctly, if you're buying the property correctly, if, you're, if you've got the education and the experience to utilize uh, to fulfill the plan that you have. Uh, paperwork, of course, is a huge part of real estate. So understanding documents, so being able to fill out a purchase and sale agreement, to be able to fill out a joint venture agreement and what is in, uh, entailed in that. Figuring, reading and understanding mortgage documents, option to purchase documents, uh, continuing, agreements for sale, rent to own contracts, rental agreements, simple rental agreements, filling out those, property management agreements. I could go on and on. There's tons of agreements you need to know, but you, so you have to familiarize yourself with con contracts and legalese and all that kind of jazz. Uh, reality nine, you can't do anything without a great team and to build a team you have to know where to go and how to choose that person. You can't just pick anybody. They have to be in your um, same thought process and looking for property or whatever it is they're doing they have to be on board with what you're doing and that could be a realtor mortgage broker lawyer accountant insurance person inspector um, and you have to be able to interview these people properly also you'll need contractors tradesmen builders even and of course other investors or joint venture partners and how do you interview these each one of these people have a different interview process to and you really have to be uh, cognizant of who you're having on your team because a poor team member obviously isn't going to create a good team for you and of course negotiation in every aspect of real estate is uh, integral so first obviously you want to create rapport with people not just jump in and fulfill your business model but create rapport create win-win outcomes understanding the personality styles in order to create that ultimate um, outcome and when and what to ask for when should you pull that card out and be able to concede things as well so that's part of the negotiation process so what are your next steps reading contracts so do that start building your team and practice negotiation and we have videos on this and further training. So if you have any questions, go to gord at gordlemon.com and shoot me a question. Thanks and see you next time.